microphone check. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and thank you <laughs> for that heads up. Now we are good. Fantastic. That would actually be on my end. I have my microphone actually on mute. I just have to take it off of mute. So let me just restart. Let me just restart. Um, welcome to Quarters Without Borders. Happy Monday, of course. Happy Monday, September 21st, 2020. And we're back with another week and another episode, another fine adventure onto the island of Tsushima. We're doing so on the hardest available difficulty, which is expert level difficulty with, well, which is lethal difficulty with the expert level HUD enabled. Cell 216, good morning, good to see you. Hope things are going well down there in Florida. I know we're having some nice cool weather here in central Ohio. Um, every time we die, fail, or retry, we are donating an additional 25 cents to a charity. The charity for this game right now is To Write Love on Her Arms. This is a charity focused on helping folks struggling with mental health issues and giving them support and aid. So far, we've raised a grand total of $71.75. And that quarter's donated tracker right above the grand total, of course. As we play today, you'll see that number rise every time we... Well, run into problems, so to speak. All in all, an homage to classic arcade games and a way, hopefully, of putting some good out into the world, even if it's just 25 cents at a time. Now, um, just a, a kind of a word of update. Clearly, my word's not working for me. Just an update. If you were logged in for the stream either on Thursday last week or the long play Saturday, you are probably more than aware that we are having some streaming issues. Now, deep diving into it, it is outside of my control on this end. Uh, it seems to be an issue with my ISP, which is Spectrum Internet. Um, I have a pretty high tier bandwidth package, so I, I pay for a pretty significant package. And if you watch the stream any week previous, you will you should have been able to see very fine quality. Um, and it's not so much download speed, it's upload speed because I'm broadcasting out. Um, but whatever has been going on has been really hindering the quality of our stream. So I, we tentatively kind of MacGyvered together a solution like the last couple hours of the stream on Saturday. And I think we were able to get like a decent quality, well, we already get the stream to play smoothly even though it took a significant quality hit. So we've played with some more settings today. Um, I've changed a couple servers that I'm broadcasting around to on my end. And I don't want to jinx it, but I know we are broadcasting at a slightly faster rate right now. So hopefully the quality is slightly higher than it was on Saturday. I cannot um, guarantee it will stay that way. Because even through my tests yesterday and into this morning, because I've been running... That's a whole different process, a whole behind the scenes. <laughs> the bandwidth that we are currently running at, I, for some reason, cannot maintain. Like, it's, well, it's not me. I can maintain it just fine. I can do this all day. But the servers on Spectrum's end cannot maintain it. So we will find out as we play today. Um, if anything goes really, really wonky or bad, or we get some more of those Picasso, Cubist era paintings popping up on the stream, please just let me know. Um, I can, of course, monitor the analytics over, over here. But I'm mostly focused on the game over here. So I might miss it now and then. I know right now it's looking like we're broadcasting just fine. Um, not quite where we were a week ago, but easily four times the bit rate that we were casting out over the weekend. Um, you may still notice some slight artifacting and uh, low resolution, specifically because I've tuned down the settings here on my end that I'm broadcasting out at so that we get rid of that stutter. And that big stutter we were running into was specifically because I was basically forcing the hardware to push high quality video out to all of you. And unfortunately that didn't, that didn't gel with the low bandwidth that Spectrum was providing. So in order to provide a smoother experience, I had to, dis I had to lower my expectations or my software's output so even if our speed has upped today, um, I know I've got a hard cap on what I'm putting out to everybody. And once we find out that it's going to be consistently back to a good speed, we'll 
push it back up to where we are. So in the meantime, folks, that's a long-winded way of saying I am sorry for any sort of visual thing you might be interfering with or experiencing. Um, I've done everything I can possibly do on my end. The rest is in the hands of my internet service provider, which is Spectrum. And if it continues to be a major issue, well, we'll have to look into alternative solutions, I suppose. But we're going to make the most of it. Whew, enough housekeeping, enough housekeeping. Let us dive right back into the adventure, right? Because it is a Monday morning. It is nice and cool here in central Ohio. I think it's about in the 50s right now. And our high, if we're lucky, might crest into like like 70 flat, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But sunny weather, I think they're calling for it all week. So it should be a nice temperate day to get some things done, um, to be productive. Um, if you are following things on the YouTube channel, on the archives, you will have noticed that not much happened over the weekend, specifically because most of my time was spent uh, working on this internet streaming problem. So we did quite a bit last on the long play, folks. We've done most of the s southern half of Toyotama, and from here on out, we're going to be heading north. I want to save this heavy quest, because I believe this is when we go to tackle the castle. So today, we're going to kind of clean up some question marks, clear out this fog, and work through some of these other major, or I guess minor, storyline quests. At least that's our start for the day, before we move into wrapping up our time here in Toyotama. Pardon me, buddy. So, no, it's, um... I don't know, I can just... It's been my world for the last two days now, but just dealing with the internet, dealing with the streaming problems, um, and just having it outside of your control is so infuriating, especially when you are paying for a certain quality of service. Um, and I have no illusions that Spectrum will have any sort of compensation for the time that we were down, for the loss in service that I'm paying for. And if I can, I am going to take a moment just to vocalize the fact that I'm not a fan of Spectrum services. I've used a number of service providers in the past. Um, the only reason I'm using them is because they are literally the only person, of, they are the only company available here to me where I'm in my current apartment. Um, I'll only be here for a year though, so fingers crossed we have a little bit more access accessibility next year. See, things like this, and the biggest issue I have with Spectrum is really the reliability. They're not consistent, and consistency to me is one of the biggest marks of a, of a successful company, of a professional company. All right, we are riding to check out a destroyed shrine. So yeah, it's just nice. It's nice to actually see it's running at a reasonable rate. Um Hopefully it's still looking good on your end, folks. I apologize again if it's got any glitches going on today. Ooh, we got a pillar of honor right here. In the trees. Gold Koi River. For blades quick as the streak of a koi in a sunlit stream. Now that sounds cool. Polka dots. Um, okay. I'm not opposed to polka dots. It's a bit, uh... Garish, but um, let's rock it. We're getting pretty close, actually. Oh, I think we have a hot spring right next to it, too. The Bamboo Forest Hot Spring. Actually, nighttime in a cool rain, 
This would be a fantastic time to actually bathe in a hot spring. Also, apologies, I know we started a few minutes late today on the stream. Um, honestly, just ironing out last-minute connection problems. Lady Masako. Brother used to take us to Omi Lake with Lady Masako and her children. We played in the water while Mother and Masako traded funny stories over tea. I know we went a few minutes over, or a few minutes late of a start today, so notice that we will go a few minutes over to compensate. I do want to make sure we get our full, our full 90 minutes in for our stream today. Okay. Peace for the Divine. There's a shrine near here with smoke coming from its location. I hope it's all right. Folks, I hope you're having a great Monday out there. I hope a lot of your, um... Uh, I hope, really, I hope all your, um, Cell 216, I hope your power issues and everything have been resolved and everything's going smooth for you now. The shrine has been desecrated. Oh, man. Who did this? The fox is dead and everything. Whoa. Slain and left to rot. Out of contempt for these sacred messengers. Completely destroyed. This took time and effort. We faced. There's no doubt this was purposeful. Thank you for that, Lady Dragana. Made a little tweak, let me know. What happened here was an act of hate. Let me know how that sounds. Do you know who did this? That's good to hear, Sal. That's good to hear. Bones. They must be responsible. Cool. They must be responsible. That's kind of an assumption, don't you think? Oh, there's another fox. We have two foxes. Stay back, buddy. Oh, is that guy not close enough? Get him, bees. Are they not going to get him, really? Come on, guys. Didn't want to actually have to fight you. I was kind of hoping to do it stealthy wise. Oh, there's lots of foxes. This is pretty cool. There must be more. Return to my ally. I like how the fox is considered my ally. Dead. 
dance and stick. Now you seem to be next to one. There we go. Nice, they got him. Alright, well, where did my ally go? Where is my fox buddy? <laughs> this is kind of a neat quest. Kind of a big camp up here, bud. They've killed so many. Destroyed what is sacred. All those are dead foxes, aren't they? Avenge the sacred fox. Well, I guess it is them. Oh, they're like pelting. They're like catching them for pelts. That's horrible. Look at all the pelts hanging there. Wow. Wow, he was like phasing out of reality. No one's like paying attention for reals. Bees look at the dog. Nope, the dog ran. Where'd the other dog go? Clean. They can no longer harm you or any other divine messenger. Peace for the, the divine. Slain, find peace. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Effects with a percent chance to occur are fifty percent more likely to occur. Fifty percent more. So if it's a 15%, it goes up to a 65%. No, wait, percent chance to occur. Um, Twenty percent chance to survive lethal damage is now a 70% chance to survive lethal damage. Wow. That's actually a re... Like, there's a lot of synergy that that charm grants me. If I didn't have a gazillion charms, this would be a lot easier to work my way through. Staggered enemies have an 80% chance to be knocked down. Landing a headshot has a 90% chance to return the arrow. Okay, wow. This is gonna. Okay, folks, we have to take a second. <laughs> Um, cause it's time to re-kit him and his charms out. Dang. So right now I have no charms that actually require percentages. K 
Killing enemy restores a moderate amount of health. I like that. But what else can we do? This is an 80% chance to knock down enemies. A 90% chance to get my arrow back. That would actually be really useful. Recover health while out of combat. Well, if I get rid of the things that heal... My gosh, there's so many charms. Attacks have a 10% chance to deal double damage. Attacks have a 60% chance to deal double damage. That's amazing. A 65% chance for enemy arrows to deal no damage. Um... Abilities that use resolve have a 65% chance to refund one resolve. Okay, so these are my major charms, apparently. These are so cool. Oh, I can only have two major charms. <sighs> Man, you can only have two. The free arrow is awesome, because that's all I ever do is headshots. But I've never really run out of arrows, so I suppose that's not that big of a deal, because I've never actually really been an issue where I've run out of arrows. The Iron Will bringing me back up to 50% of my maximum health is really cool because I plan on getting rid of a lot of the healing things. And then recovering health while out of combat will be helpful to keep my resolve up. So let's... Charm of Izanami. Iron Will will now revive me at 50% of my maximum health. And... Slowly recover health while out of combat. Okuninushi. Now I do want the charm that I just got. 50% chance more likely. So attacks have a 60% chance to deal double damage. That's awesome. And what else do we got? Do you think... I, so I don't know this, but if anyone's played this game or have you have any thoughts about this, do you think the charms stack? So if I put two of these charms on that basically give me 60% increase, do I now have a 120% chance to do double damage? Do these percentages stack? I don't know. Because that would be awesome if I could do that. We get more resolve coming back. And this increases health and damage by moderate amount.
and this gives me a 70% chance to survive lethal damage and gain resolve. Okay, total change to us and our charm style. This will be very interesting to just get a feel for how this plays. Let's do a quick little loot session and let's get back going. Man, that one charm just shakes up everything. I guess that's what we get for helping the, uh, the foxes, right? So Lady Dragana, I know it is Monday again. Are there plans to continue the Trivia Dynasty tomorrow? Uh, where are you, Soda? Lord Shimura's camp. <coughs> Excuse me. We're not going to worry about visiting him just yet. I want to head north and clear out the Riverside Farm. That should clear up a lot of space on the map. Snowy mountains in the distance. Mm. How cool is that? We have a shrine up ahead. Ah, I got gotcha. you. You have you had the Let's you have off. to. You have the victory last week. You can't sit it out. You have to defend your legacy. If there's any week to do trivia, you have to do it this week. Man, look at that. The orange leaves against that white snowy mountain backdrop. That's beautiful. Well, this shrine is quite the ways of ways, isn't it? I see it. Four more to go, huh? Nice. Are you taking? Your, so are you on a mini vacation right now? I should pet you, shouldn't I? That's what you're waiting for. I have to say, just really quick too, noticing, since I'm looking over at the, the chat, looking at the analytics. Nice. Is this a, uh, any special things planned for the vacation, or is it just like, vegging out? It's nice to see that the internet connection rate seems to be a little more stable today. I don't think it's dipped below. <laughs> Two megabytes a second. Considering Saturday we were broadcasting as low as like 14 kilobytes a second, that's a huge improvement. Fight me. Okay, I've got this new charm. Let's see what it's all about. Are we doing double damage almost every single hit? And again, it doesn't really matter if I wipe out the entire squad during my showdown. Mr. Captain, you're the only one left. Be 
come in to fight. Wow. Perfect parry. And, like, that combat could not have gone any better. That was incredible. A perfect parry and everything. Vegging out and chilling. Nice that sounds go. awesome. Let's go, son. All right, Riverside Farm. Corinne, what? So, Lady Dragana, <laughs> slip because that's my exclamation mode. Lady Dragana, what day is your birthday? Or did it already happen? Did I miss it? Okay, headshots, we can do that. Oh my gosh, Eagle, really? You're going to give me away? Don't make me do this. Coming to investigate. I try not to use the real names, but of course it just. I'm like, what? Cool, well, tomorrow's the birthday. Then you have to do trivia. They see me? Wow, did that miss? Get up. Let's see. Let's earn our pay. I'm out of arrows for real. Maybe I needed to get those headshot arrows back, right? <laughs> they all have helmets. I need one more headshot, and I need heavy arrows to do it. Oh, here comes the ghost. Don't you dare try attacking me. Are you kidding me? Headshots. Back up, back up. Way too many, way too many. Oh my gosh. Move the arrows. Wow, look at all the health it gave me when I got up. That's amazing. I like the new charms. Like I went down, I did my resolve, I came back up with almost full health.
a, a tsam, tsam? The tsam, or masked dance, is a Tibetan Buddhist ceremony held at the beginning of each year, considered important for exercising evil spirits. The Mongol Empire gradually took control of Tibet in the 1240s and 1250s. There might be a person over there, I can't really tell. No, it's just horses. Just horses. Actually, maybe it is done. I can't swipe for the breeze anymore. Yep. Ooh, there's a Shimura Cemetery. Alright, well we cleared that little farm out pretty good. The music's still pretty ominous though. I think that's everything. X1N, yo, 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 happy Monday. Yeah, we'll go over that way. Hope you're having a good one, sir. Cemetery. Who will face me first? The guys are in trouble. I shall get trouble. One at a time. Alright, Mr. Captain, it's just you and I. As Michael, Bub As Michael Buble would say, just you and I. Doing well here, doing well. Doing a lot better today. The weekend was good. It was a relaxing but busy weekend, should I say? We ran into, we had a long play on Saturday. We ran into a lot of internet problems. Um, thankfully, it, I'm going to jinx it right now. It does, they do seem to have resolved themselves. I mean, our stream was like chugging at such a low quality simply because of my service provider. I don't know, they had some problems or something was down on their end. And it just, it, of course, it always coincides in the same day you're trying to do a lot. But today, it does seem to be better. So, I'm happy about that. If this stays consistent like this, I have no qualms. But, 
don't know, we had a good stream on Saturday. Sunday was a lot of troubleshooting. <laughs> Tech problems. Um, and Sunday was a really chill day, actually. And a good friend of mine came down and went out to go golfing. And by no stretch of the imagination do I want to impart in you the suggestion that I might actually know how to golf. I am an abysmal golfer. I've golfed like three times in my life. But my friend is a, like an avid golfer. So it was just fun to kind of hang out and hit around a little bit. The weather was fantastic for it. So we hit some golf balls, then we went and got some food, and it was a pretty chill afternoon. It was nice. All right, Mr. Fox, where are you taking us? Oh my gosh, that bear is on fire over there. Are we going over by the waterfall? Almost. This is a very pretty spot. How about you? I hope you had a pretty chill, chill weekend as well. things. Only one more area to liberate, though. Bandits or are these people? They're people. They've kind of taken up residence in this Mongol camp. Dried meat. Air dried and ground meat called borts. <laughs> borts. Is used as rations by Mongol troops. Borts is easy to transport, cooked simply with water, and is often kept under the saddle to further tenderize it. You keep it under your saddle, so you just ride on it all day. That's hilarious. Clever, but funny. Another fox den, huh? <sighs> Putting quite a few of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Into the rocks we go. Oh man, there's a rope and everything. Get 
timing for this one, huh, buddy? Yeah. Shouldn't kill me, right? Nice. Okay. Cut across the fog. I think there's a fort actually in the way. Fort. Fort. Koyasan. Power, Mr. Golden Bird, is that where you're taking me? And whatever happens to be here. This is kind of neat. There's a lot of things in here. Gyozin's Blindfold, worn by the keepers of Tsushima's legends. No way, it's an actual blindfold? Can you see through it? I can't tell, like his eyes... No, I guess that does kind of go around his eyes, doesn't it? We are so rocking the blindfold. It looks like it's too... High though. It does not look like it covers his eyes. Can you see Jin? You can see him blinking through the blindfold. That's kind of creepy. A big fort up here. That doesn't seem to be a Mongol fort. Warning, entering area of overwhelming enemy forces. Okay, it is a Mongol fort. There's nothing we're doing with that right now, apparently. Thank you, Cell. I think it does look pretty cool. It's very, uh... Artsy, I guess. <laughs> In the blind samurai. Ouch. No, no, get up. Watch our timing. Let's play it safe, one at a time. Come on.
Nice. Wow, I don't know, like, I, it must be the charms, but my character is so much more combat effective. I mean, it's helpful that I'm trying to play it a little bit smarter, but... Help me! Hold still. Free at last! Be careful up there. It's not much, but please, take it. Like, just the charms that I have really give me an edge at surviving in combat. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Little Moxie's Pond. Huh. Have a nice relax- Ooh, it might be a hot spring over there. Have a nice relaxing day here at the channel. We did a lot of stuff over the weekend. Kushi Bamboo Strike. Cool. Riding. Clearing that fog out. Discovering more of the world. Wow, look at that bridge. That's cool. That'd be kind of creepy, actually. Okay, so Turtle Rock Shrine, Kami the Hunt. I'm right here. Alek Bocic, here in have been. Not so many sugar loot met. up. That ghost stance unlocked. The captain just hanging out in the background. The captain, if I don't get any damage from you. I miss down here, Mr. Golden Bird. Oh, it's a haiku spot.
Little Monk's Pond, not Moxie's Pond. Blind hike. Holding ever fast. Sets sight. Sights set high above. Or a fortress of strength. Reveal the inner weakness. A journey's path never known. With protection safe and sure. Pushing to the goal. Rushing past failure. Viewing the future. Sights set high above. A journey's path never known. Viewing the future. Headband of Preservation. Ah, oh, that one's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Get rid of our blindfold for the moment. Oh, it was so nice and sunny, and now like the storm clouds just roll in. <laughs> How far did you end up making it, by the way? Man, this this game is such a like an escape. It's so relaxing to play. There is something down there that I feel is important. Oh, nice. A little ways, time-wise, but not terrible. Gets so good, man. Tiggly Wiggle Jigglepuff, welcome to the stream. Yeah, we are very high right now. I think we might have a hot spring here. I don't know. Just a lot of smoke coming from whatever this is over here. Oh, that bridge was really cool. Absolutely. It'd be a little intimidating. What? I've been here before. My lord. Ooh, there's a little side Master quest with Izzo, them, huh? I'm glad to see you're restoring this. Ah, there's so much still to do. But the work takes me to happier times. Oh, is there anything I can help with? Or that was it. Just that little vignette for you to share some dialogue. I mean, it was cool. It's good to see he's following through. Good to see he's following through. I just... I don't know if that requires... Oh my gosh, I my horse. Come on, come on. Okay, that was cool. That was very cool. No extra attacks, no extra buttons, just a nice, clean fight. Let's 
let's see if we can't get back up to where we were. Find this shrine. This is the pond. There's definitely something over here. All that way for a flower and one impressive view. There's a little Buddha statue in the pond. That's cool. Hmm. Such a cool little location. I wonder if we'll do anything here. Hmm. I feel like there should be something, like a battle or something. Turtle Rock Shrine. Let's go, son. I don't think you can balance rope, so it's gonna have to be me from here on out. How do I get that flower? And there's the shrine. I love how he just casually like jumps onto the ropes. Oh no! No 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 no! No 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 no! Well, I like ninja hovered to my death on that one. First death today due to platforming. You see Castle Shimoto out there in the distance. Something over there in the fog. A <laughs> flower out to the side, I see. And this is 
quite the process, isn't it? Finally. I think we've made it. Charm of Huri no Mikoto. Charm of the Kani, Kami of the Hunt. Remain hidden when assassinating enemies from grass. That's super cool. I would use that a lot. Okay, there's a little campfire or something down there. Ooh, I see you, Mr. Bamboo Tree. Smoke over there, we'll see what's going on. Bamboo strike. Kubara bamboo strike. Da 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 What? Da 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 Oh my gosh! This is actually kind of tricky. Da 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 Got it. We climb. Alright. This is going pretty well. Look at that vista. Hot spring. Maple shade hot spring. Take that Mongol bastard's head, or drown him. No, I'll put the torch to him, just like he did to Lord Adachi. Don't seem like very relaxing thoughts. Those seem a lot more like aggressive thoughts. <laughs> You're supposed to be relaxing. Don't want to head out here. Not going to worry about that yet. So let's head across, hit this, and then the storyline quests.
Who will face me first? Oh shoot. Dang, I screwed that up. Pushing the wrong button. Wow. How many times are you gonna die here? So that, that fight was a mess. That was horrible. I, to I like my fingers slipped. And I totally released that button at the beginning of the fight. And then it was just downhill from there. We can redeem ourselves with this one. Better, not a hundred percent redeemed, but better. We get it healing me outside of combat, that's cool. As I mentioned today, folks, again, kind of a chill day on the stream, just making sure our bandwidth connection problems have ironed themselves out, making sure. Um, that we catch up and we kind of clear the fog, clear missions and stuff. I think we're going to be in a really good spot tomorrow to dive into this main storyline quest. And as I said, we'll be going a few minutes over today because of our late start time for today. more Now what is up there? Who knows? The fox buddy stick around? I don't think he did. Okay. Yuriko storyline quest. Let's get some more poison darts. <laughs> Mongol artifact, 30 of 50, a horse skull. The spirits of dead Mongolian horses are believed to be able to hurt or help their former owners and Mongol warriors take great care with their remains. Respect is often shown to a fallen horse by placing the skull on an uvu, 
a sacred stone heap important to the Mongols' shamanistic religion. Cool. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. Alright, that was all on you, Soda. Don't hurt me in your afterlife. I wanted to take the bridge. Temple we found? How cool that temple was up this way somewhere? Uh, wherever it's at? Omi Monastery? There better be more stuff that we do with this. Like, they designed some really cool locations, and I feel like we've been there once for one storyline quest, and that's it. Young master, would you like something to eat? I'm fine, Yuriko. I just need the poison. You are trying to remember the ingredients. They were flowers. You remember them, don't you? The ones I planted at your family cemetery. I remember washing the graves. Father made me hold buckets of water from the lake. He knew it would make you strong and teach you to respect your ancestors. Don't you remember the flowers, Jin? Spider lilies. That's right. Spider lilies. With enough spider lilies, you can craft a poison that makes rats go mad. Tear each other to pieces. Wow. It's awful. It's for a good cause. Just make it strong enough to work on men. <sighs> if you think it's necessary, I know exactly where to find what we need. This way. Of course we're going searching in the middle this of the part night. Of the forest. I was here when I was a child. After your mother passed away. I refused to believe she was gone. So I ran from home and came here. Your mother loved to take long walks here. I searched until sundown. I kept shouting for her. But she was gone. And I was lost. You were missing for three days. Nearly dead by the time your father found you. I've never seen him so angry. Angry at himself for failing to protect you. I've seen your father before countless battles. And he was never more worried than the sleepless nights he spent, searching for his only son. Not much farther to the cemetery. I wonder what your father would make of the ghost. He would disapprove, like my uncle. Don't be so sure. They argued often. Kazumasa thought your uncle too rigid, willfully blind to possibilities. Kazumasa had imagination. Imagination? My father? You're like him in more ways than you know. Whoa. Careful. Disrespecting the dead. Stay here. Challenge me! Alright, as long as she doesn't have to watch her, son, her nephew die. Samurai! Or she can watch me just destroy them. Are there more? Oh yeah, there are a lot more. Wow. Have I not been here before? No, it's foggy. Another cricket. 13 to 20. Seven more to go, folks. That's exciting. So this is our family cemetery, not just... Oh, 
where the father was buried. my longbow arrows at? How do I have four of them? You guys don't hear the commotion? One tent. One little camp they'd set up. That's a big tree in the middle. Did you drive them off? Yes. It's safe to look for the spider lilies. Why would we look for them here? Isn't this where you used to plant them? Oh. Uh, no, not here. It's been so long. They're in another cemetery. Your great aunt's branch of the family. It's not far. Oh my gosh, is she like losing her mind? Is she so old that she like doesn't remember? I mean, we came here and we cleared out the Mongols, which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Yuriko, do you remember I was five or six? I had a nightmare about this forest, a fight. It wasn't a nightmare. I told you it was to keep you calm. That was real? I remember men shouting. Our retinue was returning home late one night. We were ambushed by Ronin. The Ronin must have been dangerous. My father's samurai were frightened. Not of the Ronin. Of Kazumasa. Of my father? Why? He and his samurai drove the Ronin off. But Kazumasa pursued them on foot. You could hear their screams. He returned to us just before dawn, covered in blood. Some of his own men mistook him for a demon of the forest. Talk about sins of the father here. Like, the ghost of Tsushima was my dad. Do you recognize this lake? We used to meditate here. <laughs> How you'd fidget. You told me to pretend I was a rock, and all I wanted was to swim. <sighs> the view's much better from the shore. Join me, young master. Oh, what about old bones need a rest? Okay. This time you'll have to keep me from fidgeting. Some of my favorite memories happened at this lake. Stopping a child's visiting? Your mother and I would come here when she was pregnant with you. We should keep moving. <laughs> a grown man, and you still can barely sit still. We can meditate again, after the war. Yes, young master. <laughs> Oh, we're looking for the next cemetery. 
It's a much lengthier quest than I anticipated. The cemetery isn't far. Feels much closer when you're not carrying water. Maybe one I've never been to before, maybe. Unless we're going all the way over there. Uh-oh. I hear a bear. Nope, it's right here. This is nice. They may break stone, but they cannot erase the memory of these warriors. Please gather the spider lilies. I can't bear to look. I wonder if there's going to be a cricket here, too. So what does a spider lily look like? There's our cricket friend. <clears throat> 14 of 20. Yeah. I'll probably be at the... Maybe not. I'm closer to them now than I was before. So that's a spider lily, huh? Interesting. My aunt Matsu would weep at the condition of this place. Most of these warriors fell in the rebellion at Yariko. They deserve better than this. This is all I could find. It is enough to make the poison, but I don't want our time to end. The Shimura Cemetery isn't far. With a view of the waterfall. Let's go, my lord. I mean, I'm not always, I'm not necessarily opposed to nighttime tours of cemeteries. But I feel like we have more pressing things to take care of right now. <laughs> the Shimura Cemetery is kind of far. That's kind of what I was thinking. Then again, though, I haven't really stumbled upon these cemeteries. These are like really tiny Azuma. ones. I do enjoy our rides together. Did you say Kazuma saw? Oh, did I? You ride with your father's grace. Did you often go riding with my father? Lord Sakai taught me to ride a horse. Ooh, the sun is rising. run into more opposition or will we get there without much trouble we have what we came for we have all the ingredients all she has Careful. to do is make the poison. Straw ahead. wait I can mix the new poison for you oh, we're gonna mix it on the road how does it work oh it's terrible causes madness They'll turn on each other like wild beasts. Good. Make it. Quickly. The poison is finished. Take it. Hallucination dart. Shot by the blowgun. Sends enemies into a violent rage where they attack friend and foe alike. Hmm. I'll stay here. Does it look the same? Just a different color. Oh, I can upgrade it though, of course. Poison, hallucination. So poison is a blood drop, hallucination is a squiggly. Riverside, I'll say, what is this place? I've cleared this already. I don't have to use the darts, but I suppose you might as well try, right?
If they hallucinate, like over here, will he go after guys super far away? And does it wear off? But we must set an example for our people by remaining true to our code and to ourselves. The poison's just for now. After the Mongols are gone, I won't need it. Oh my gosh. It's like a Hulk rage. Oh, he's going. <laughs> he needs some backup. What are you doing? Somebody's just tossing those. Man, my dude is just rocking it over there, isn't he? Dude, quit throwing these daggers. I definitely, I like the hallucination dart. I totally dig that one. Over the poison. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Do we have more? Oh, there's a few more over here, huh? the old-fashioned way. I thought it was something. me, man. Go after the guy behind you. Oh my gosh. Supposed to be going after the your buddy. Gonna fight each other. How it must have run. He's hiding. Well, it works. Works pretty good, actually. But we rid ourselves of those bandits. Me too. 
Not bandits. Straw hats. Ryuzo's men. Where did that young man go wrong? I ask myself that all the time. After all this, I'm worried about the Shimura Cemetery, my lord. Would you check on it with me? Of course, Yuriko. Let's have a look. Are you tired, Yuriko? No, Lord Sakai. This is the best day I've had since our afternoon at Lake Omi. I don't remember that. You are sure that was me? It, it was so long ago. You must have forgotten. The war hasn't touched this place. Do you remember, young master? We pay our respects to the Shimura warriors buried here. Then spent the afternoon writing poems. I remember, Yuriko. Let's write one now. Reflecting on impermanence. Unmoving mountain. Soaring ambition, unbreakable walls. Endlessly flowing water, but the works of men are frail. Stone abides rushing water. Life flows into death, life blossoms and fades. Lords and clans vanish. That's tough. Soaring ambition. The works of men are frail. and clans vanish. Well said, my lord. The proud do not endure. The greatest of us fall in the end. We should return to Omi. I'll stay a while. I know better than to argue. Good. You learned something today. Kazumasa used to say Lord Shimura was too concerned with that castle. The strongest point on the island. He equated strength with the, the huge, the immovable, like a mountain. Yet a point. Doubt and indecision have destroyed armies. In the midst of battle, true leaders must stay rooted, stand firm. But look at that waterfall. All that immovable rock yields to water. The strength we need is all around us. I have one more place I would like to visit, my lord, when you're ready. Alright. That was a very different kind of quest. Yoriko's keepsake. Arrows have a 15%, although we can change that to 65% chance to poison enemies. That's pretty cool. 
Getting some good equipment here. Lord Sakai. <laughs> so the only quest we have left, besides our main storyline one, is Yoriko's qu quest. A Yoriko tale. We get a ranged charm, and we get the Bowman's Straw Hat, which looks like another taco hat. So, folks, I think that's where we're going to end for today. We'll save right here. So when we start our stream tomorrow, we will pick up with her quest, finish it off. It'll be sad because that's probably the end of Yoriko. But we will get a new taco hat to rock, and then it will be... Time for the reckoning in blood. So I imagine it has something to do with this fort, Koyasan. And eventually, Sh Castle Shimura. We have one area left to liberate. And Toyotama is ours. Lady Dragana, the taco hat, never goes out of style. Never. And we only have one taco hat, I think. So it'll be good to have a second. Well, I think somehow, against all odds, the bandwidth gods saw fit to bless our channel today. And I think we were able to maintain a fairly consistent frame rate and quality resolution. So um, thank you for putting up with everything on Thursday. On Saturday and today if we had any more little wiggly niggles to go with it but we will um yeah we'll keep it growing we'll keep it working so I will actually go back and put my settings for tomorrow's stream back up to the high quality ones like I've had them at and I guess we'll give that a shot and see how that works hopefully this momentum keeps us momenting it just keeps going <laughs> but only one casualty today due to a, a, a bit of a battle with gravity. So another 25 cents should bring us up to a grand total of $71. Nope, $72 even. $72 even. I'll, of course, have that officially updated for us tomorrow. And that does it for another episode of Quarters Without Borders. I did um, mention over the weekend that we are going to be going to weekly challenge number three i don't want to announce it i wasn't planning on announcing it today specifically because i wasn't sure how the quality of our stream was going to go so stay tuned weekly challenge number three is coming up it will get announced um it's just today was a tentative day i didn't want to throw anything too heavy into the stream because i wasn't sure how it was going to go but um it seems it went okay so thank you for your patience everybody thank you for your support and your time i hope it's as enjoyable for you out there watching it as it is for me here playing it and i don't know it's fun just getting to do this every day and send some positive energy into the world cell 216 thanks for hanging out today lady dragana of course x1n i don't think you're still in the channel but thanks for stopping by and jiggly wiggly jiggle puff hope you're having a fantastic day everybody have a great rest of your monday we'll be back here tomorrow tuesday at 11 a.m eastern standard time remember there is no long play this week it's just monday through thursday um, I think we're coming up on the end game pretty soon here. The end game of Ghost of Tsushima, which works out because October is coming up and Halloween is probably my favorite holiday of the year. So I've been jonesing to get a good horror game on the channel. And I think we're going to fit it in time wise. I think we're going to conclude this game in time to get a, a creepy game on for Halloween. So channel onward and upward. Folks, have a great rest of your day. As always, comments, suggestions, anything that, criticisms, you know, anything that you want to throw out there, things that we can make, <clears throat> things that you think could make this channel a better place or a smoother experience are all welcome. Um, you can reach out to me in the chat here, on the chat on YouTube, Quarters Without Borders, or of course the Twitter page, Quarters Without Borders. Make sure you tag it at Quarters Without. That's all the housekeeping stuff for me. Folks, have a great rest of your day. This has been another episode of Quarters Without Borders. Have a good afternoon and happy gaming.